My name is Akil Sastry. I am a private practice orthopedic surgeon. I practice out of uh, Portsmouth and York Hospital. We're in private practice at Atlantic Orthopedics. And my area of focus is, is total joint replacement surgery. So to give you an overview, overview, I principally do hip and knee replacement surgery. And under the category of knee replacement surgery, we have choices of either doing a partial knee replacement surgery versus a full knee replacement surgery. This is an example that I use over and over again in my office. If you think of cartilage that wears out when we develop arthritis is analogous to tread on a tire, right? When we're born, we've got a full set of tread. And as the tread starts to wear away on a tire, the cartilage can start to wear away in the <clears throat> joint. And regardless of how the tread subsequently wears away, ultimately, at the end of the day, if the tread is not where it is not performing well on the tire, the tire is going to have a really hard time sticking well to the road. The return to work for patients who have a full knee replacement is anywhere from six to ten weeks, depending on the specifics of your job. <coughs> but partial knee replacement patients seem to recover at a far faster rate where they can go back to work and anywhere from two to four weeks, and they are typically allowed to drive roughly at around two to four weeks. So you kind of get an initial uh, boost of, of recovery, if you will. Do you run into any sort of complications intraoperatively, like machine malfunction? Or... Yeah, so we have it, and, and I've been doing robotics for just about two years now, so we've had some experience with this. And you know, there, there, there are a couple of metrics and steps that you have to take before the person can come back to the surgery. It has to pass through certain checkpoints before we can proceed. My practice for the first half of, of my career has been principally hip replacement surgery because I did something called an anterior approach to the hip. It's a muscle sparing surgery to do, to do the replacement. And the, the biggest thing with that operation is how much better you get as you gain more and more experience. I think with robotics, the great thing about it is if you did your first case or the thousandth case, the results will be the same. But the surgeon that has done at least 40 or 50 is going to be far more efficient at utilizing the technology and getting through the operation far more efficiently. We've done somewhere around, somewhere over 1,200 hip replacements. Um, on the knee replacement side, probably close to a thousand and on the robotics side we've done somewhere over the 200 mark. And do you do both uh, at York and Portland? I do yeah so I've been doing robots so this is brand new New Hampshire this is extremely exciting for us we're the first uh, uh, hospital to, to offer this technology to the state of New Hampshire but I've actually been doing it for a year and a half in Maine we're the first one in the state of Maine as well and the knee replacement and robotics application is fairly new. So the implants that have been put in have been evaluated and they've had results with a 10 year track record of one of the lowest revision rates for any implant that's out there and over 2 million knee replacements that have been put in with that specific type of brand and model. What robotics is, is you're not putting in a new implant, you're conforming the implant to customize it to fit your knee and to get the ideal positioning taken care of. So that component of it is fairly new. So we were one of the first 15 surgeons uh, in the world to put it in. So we have 360 degree flexibility to the geometry and the implant. So for example, when we were doing it with manual instrumentation, you were not committed to certain sections of the bone because it did not allow us to reposition and reconfigure the implant. Now we can reconfigure the implant to contour and fit your bone. It's a robot controlled arm, but the surgeon is controlling the arm. So the machine will tell you the orientation and how much and where to cut, but it will actually not do the cutting itself. The surgeon does the cutting. So that's 100% of the time? 100% of the time. 